So to start adding products, all what we need to do is go over to products, just hover on it, then click on add new. The first field we have here is product name. This is where we are going to enter the name of our product. So for the first product, I'm going to go ahead and add an ebook. So I'll go ahead and enter in the title of my ebook. Next is the product description. This is where we are going to give full description of our product. So we click in here, then we go ahead and enter in our description. Going down is product data. So in here, you need to make sure it is set to simple product. We have other options, but we are not going to be using them in this tutorial. However, you need to make sure it is set to virtual and you also need to make sure it is set to downloadable so that users of your website will be able to download whatever product they are going to be purchasing from your website. Now you see that upon enable downloadable, we now have fields for downloadable files. If I go ahead and disable it, those fields will go off. We need them, so let's go ahead and enable it. The next thing you want to do is set the price for your product. And as you can see, we have two various prices, that is regular price and sale price. The regular price is the original price of the product and the sale price is the discounted price of the product. So the cost of my book is 59.99. Maybe I don't want to give my users some discounts. So we leave this as empty for now. Next thing we want to do is go over to downloadable files. Then we click on add file. In here, we enter the name of our file. So I'll just go ahead and grab the name of my ebook. I copy it going down. I enter it in here. The next is the file URL. So we click on choose file. This is where you can go ahead and upload the file you want your users to be able to download when they purchase this particular product. So we click on choose file. At the moment, my media library is empty. So what we want to do is go over to upload files, click on select files, or you can easily drag and drop. So I'll go ahead and open up products. I have my ebook right here. I'll just select it. That is what I want to sell. Then I click on open. It is uploaded. Next, let's go ahead and click on insert file URL. And the URL is inserted right here. Next is download limit. At the moment, it is set to unlimited. So when you leave it as unlimited, meaning users will have unlimited times to be able to download this ebook. So putting a limit here will depend upon your store requirements. For now, I'll leave it as unlimited. Next is download expiry. After your customers purchase this ebook, in how many days time do you want the product to expire so that they will not be able to download it anymore? This one as well will depend upon your store requirements. So if I go ahead and enter in 10, meaning this particular purchase will expire after 10 days. I'll leave it as empty so that the product will never expire. Next is tax status. At the moment, it is set to taxable. You can drop down the arrow. You can decide to choose none. For shipping, we are not dealing with shipping, so we wouldn't go there. So if this product is not taxable, you go ahead and choose none. If it is taxable, you make sure it is set to taxable. And the tax class, you drop down the arrow, then you go ahead and choose your tax class. Going down is product short description. Product short description is the brief information your users will see when they land on the single product page. So what I need us to do is go to the main product description. Then we just go ahead and copy a single paragraph like this then we paste it in here just to fill up the space now let's scroll up to this section where we have product image it should be noted that sometimes you see product categories on top so that product images will be bottom whatever way it is arranged it doesn't really matter at the end you get to where you want to go to so if you want product categories to go on top what you need to do is just go ahead and click on this arrow right here and you see that product categories is now on top. Similarly, we want to bring tax, that is product tax, immediately under product categories so that we have product image and then product gallery under them. Like I said, this arrangement doesn't really matter. So the first thing we want to do is set product categories. So we go ahead and click on add new category. 
Before we set the categories, it should be noted that you are not limited to a specific category depending upon the kind of store you are creating. For instance, if you want to sell only ebooks, you may want to list all the areas of books we have in the system. You can set it as fictional books, science books, technology books, or whatever. If you also want to sell maybe only templates, you can have letterheads, planners, business cards, and many more as your categories. However, if you want to sell multiple products, this is where you will now have books as a main category and then templates as another main category. For this tutorial, we are going to concentrate on multiple products categories. So the first category we have is ebooks. Then we click on add new category and it will be added right here as well as checked. So here you can decide to add all the categories you want to have on your website. If you don't want to add them here, you can also come over to categories under products right here. Let me right click and open it in a new tab. So here you can go ahead and add all the categories you want. You see that we have books here. It should be noted that this particular category and categorized is a default category from WooCommerce. You cannot delete it. However, if you don't want this to be displayed on your website, you can just go ahead and edit it to suit one of your product categories. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. So let's click on quick edit. Then we take off uncategorized. Maybe we set this as templates. Then the slack, you want to remove it. Then you go ahead and click on update category. And the slack will be set for you automatically. Awesome. So if you want to add a new category from here, all what you need to do is click under name right here. An example would be, let's say, music, then going down. If, for instance, you want to add music under one of these categories, what you need to do is drop down the arrow under parent category, then you choose any of the existing categories you have. In this case, music is a main category, so we don't add it under any parent category. Going down, we click on add new category, and you see that music will be added right here. Similarly, you go ahead and add whatever number of categories you want to add. Let's assume we want to add subcategories. So we click on the name. Maybe I want to add letter S. And it's going to come under a parent category, templates. Then we go ahead and add new category. And you see that we have letter S in the templates. Awesome. So let's exit out of here. It should be noted that we will not be able to see the categories we've just added. If we want to see them, let's go ahead and publish our page first. Then after the page reloads, you see all the categories we've added. So here we are only adding an ebook, so we leave ebook as checked. Going down, you can also go ahead and set product tags. Adding product tags to your products will help in search engine optimization. So I would highly recommend you add product tag to every single product you are adding on your website. So this one we can call it ebook. After typing, you can just press enter to take effect. What kind of ebook is it? We can say digital marketing. Hit enter. We'll leave these two for now. Going down, the next feature is product image. So we just go ahead and click on set product image. We don't have any images here. We go over to upload files, select files. This is the image I want to use as my product image. Then we click on open and the upload will start right here. In here is very crucial. If you want your website to rank better on search engines, you need to make sure that you enter the title of your product right here. That is under alternative text. So I'll enter digital products for beginners. Sorry, digital marketing for beginners. I'll just copy it and I paste it under title as well. So with this, people can easily search on Google to find your ebook. From here, we click on set product image and it will show right here. Going down is product gallery. If you have more images for your ebook, you can go ahead and upload them right here. In my case, I only have one image for my ebook. Going up, we go ahead and update the page. Now we are done creating our product.
we can go ahead and take a look by right clicking here open link in a new tab you can also do that from here let's go there perfect so this is the title of our book the price the short description going down right here is the long description and we have our product image right here we also have our quantity field here which we don't really need and then the add to cart button next is add to wish list button so users can come here and add this particular product to their wish list by clicking on this button right here we also have our category which is ebooks and then the tags we specified digital marketing and then ebook now you see that in here users will be able to set the number of quantity they want but for a book users don't really need to increase the number of quantity if they do meaning the price will also increase for them and we don't want that for digital product they only need to buy it once and they will be able to download it whatever number of times you've set for them so let's go back and edit the product scrolling down what we need to do is click on inventory then we make sure that sold individually is enabled right here so that we'll limit the purchases to only one item per order the first two fields here we don't really need them the first one is stock keeping unit in digital products we don't really manage inventory so we don't need that so upon checking this we go up and update the page it is updated now if we go back to the product page and refresh you see that the quantity field is gone awesome